Hey guys, Bob here from Raw Strength and Muscle, and today I'm going to answer a couple questions you guys have been asking about roid rage and going bald on gear. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to answer questions about aggression on testosterone replacement and hair loss on testosterone replacement because you know this is not a gear channel or a PED channel. This is this is even even like a hormone optimization channel. It's just. I have been on testosterone replacement for almost exactly four years now. I've been open and honest about it the whole time. And if somebody asks a question, I'm going to answer them according to my experience. So I've been asked before about hair loss, okay? And all that I can say is I have noticed absolutely zero hair loss in four years on testosterone replacement, okay? Now let me go ahead and tell you that I'm 47 years old. I have a full head of hair. I graduated from high school 30 years ago, okay? When I was graduating high school, I knew kids in my you know, junior and senior classes that were like 16, 17, 18 years old who were already losing their hair or was already thinning in the front or was already starting to recede at like 16, 17, 18 years old. So those people are genetically predisposed to losing their hair. I, on the other hand, Okay, my mother's father, because that's where I read that your hair genetics comes from, okay? Your mother's father. So my maternal grandfather died an old man with a full head of thick hair, okay? So I don't think I have anything to worry about. Now, if I were genetically predisposed, like those kids who started having you know, thinning hair in high school, they would probably lose their hair faster or they'd lose more hair, but it's nothing that's not going to happen anyway. Okay. It's not like you have a full head of hair, you inject testosterone and a week later you're bald. Okay. I've never heard of somebody say that happened on testosterone replacement. Now, if you're going to use like PED level dosages of testosterone, I don't know. It might have a different effect. If you're going to use other PEDs, not just testosterone, I don't know about that either, okay? But I do believe that if you have a side effect, okay, like losing your hair, it is really for those who are predisposed, they're gonna go bald anyway. It's just gonna be faster and more hair they're gonna lose. Um, so that's it for hair loss. Now let's talk about aggression. I haven't been asked about aggression or roid rage um, at all until a couple weeks ago. I noticed that a guy, I think it was the same person asked the same question on more than one video, but I didn't have a chance to answer him to get back to him yet. Um, I have noticed no, I would have said before today that I noticed no aggression well, since I've been on testosterone, okay? Um, thinking about it now, I do realize that I am a little bit more aggressive since I've been on testosterone, okay? But it's not a bad thing, okay? The aggression that I'm talking about is not, you know, what Ben Affleck, you know, had when he did that after school special 30 years ago when he was like, you know, doing gear for like the high school track team or whatever. And he just like went crazy and you know, beat his family up and burn his house down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not what testosterone replacement's like. What I mean when I say aggression is a lot of people who don't have enough testosterone in their body, either because they always had low levels or because they got older and their testosterone levels declined, they started to deal with like depression. They started to deal with lack of drive. They started to deal with lack of sex drive. They, they couldn't stand up for themselves. You know, they couldn't, you know, finish things. They couldn't start things. You know, they could never go work through a project. So what I've noticed personally and in other people is you become more aggressive in a good way, okay? So, you know, before you might be like depressed, you might just want to kind of like sit down and like not really want to do anything and like I'm scared to bother anybody and I'm scared to look up and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, look a person in the eyes because God forbid I offend somebody and, you know, I, I'm afraid to speak my mind and I'm afraid. That's the depression that you have when you have low levels of testosterone, okay? When you're talking to a doctor about getting on TRT, that's what they're talking about in terms of depression, okay? Like, you know, you just have no 
you know, you have, you're afraid to voice your opinion. You're afraid of everything. You're like a little mouse, okay? But now when I jumped on TRT, like it helped me be more of myself. Now, luckily I'm a pretty cool guy. So when I say, you know, aggression, what I mean is like, I'm gonna stand here in front of this video. I'm gonna, no, my, my camera, I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. And I really don't give a fuck if somebody has a problem with what I say. I'm not gonna wait for like three hours before I press play or press record to be like, what happens if somebody doesn't like that? What happens if some generic fucking internet troll who fucking is a loser and has nothing better to do and he's hiding behind some fake profile and blah, 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 and he says a bad word to me, I have to go ahead and cry for three days. I really don't give a fuck about some fat or skinny or skinny fat loser who's sitting around eating fucking ho-hos and fucking, oh my God, this is my chance to fucking really mess somebody else up and be an asshole. Like you are such a fucking loser, it's fucking pathetic. Like seriously, okay? Like that is what I mean by the aggression. I give less of a fuck about what other people think and more of a fuck about what I think, okay? It doesn't mean that I never have an argument. I mean, you know, my, honestly, right now, my girlfriend and I had an argument a couple of days ago and wow, that was a hell of an argument, okay? We haven't been talking to each other for a couple of days after that argument. It has nothing to do with me being on testosterone unless it takes, you know, like four years of testosterone for the roid rage to kick in. I'm a normal person, okay? But once again, like I said, with a pre genetic predisposition to lose your hair, I'm also not an aggressive asshole who fucking hates life and wants to see the world burn, okay? If you're, you know, have a you know, predisposition to lose your hair, you might lose your hair when you're on testosterone. If you have a predisposition to be an asshole who fucking hates life, and now I'm strong and I can beat everybody up and I can impose my will and be a bigger asshole, yeah, you might be a bigger asshole than you were before you jumped on testosterone. But most people who have low testosterone need aggression, okay? Uh, you know, one of the things when I was researching TRT, before I made the decision to you know talk to a doctor and jump on, what happened is I was reading a um, you know a blog, okay, and the guy was talking. It was like a um, Iron and Silk, if anybody remembers that. It was like you know he got kind of like started after you know Bold and Determined, if anybody remembers Victor Pride, and you know this was Iron and Silk. It was like working out Iron and uh, no, so Iron and Tweed. Working out iron and uh, tweed, like, you know, dressing well. So it was like men's fashion, men's grooming and working out and nutrition. It was a pretty cool blog for a little bit. But that guy said he didn't think he would have been able to build his blog if he wasn't on testosterone, okay? What it means is if he's going to say, I'm going to write a blog post every week, you know, he's going to actually sit down and write a blog post every week because he has this aggression. Like, I said I'm going to do it. I'm a man, goddammit. I'm going to get down here. I'm going to write this fucking blog post. If people don't like it. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of aggression that I'm talking about. Uh, you know, my girl and I, we dropped $10,000 on a 10-week program to teach us how to do YouTube ads. That's not the kind of thing you do, you do if you don't have the aggression necessary, okay? I spent a couple thousand recently on a uh, business mentor, okay, to kind of like help me, you know, plan my business for the future. That's not the kind of thing that you can do if you're a scared little mouse, okay? So when I do say, like I said, um, you know, it builds up your aggression, what it means is if a girl looks at you, you're not like, oh my gosh, she's looking at me, what do I do now? You're like, you know, hey, how's it going? I see, you know, you're looking at me because, <laughs> come on, of course you're looking at me because I mean, come on. You know, that's the kind of thing. Like if you talk to a guy, you like, you know, shake his hand, you know, you squeeze it tight, you look him in the eyes, like, you know, a positive person. It doesn't mean you're an asshole. So, like I said, what I'm basically rambling about here is there is no such thing, from my experience, okay, on replacement levels of testosterone as roid rage. However, most people jump on because they need a little bit more self-confidence, a little bit more self-assuredness, a little bit more not giving a fuck about what other people think. And yes, if that's what you call roid rage or aggression, yeah, you do get a little bit of what positive aggression from that. But aside from that, like I said, it's certainly a good thing. It's certainly not a bad thing. So honestly, once again, if you were to ask me what uh, side effects you can have from testosterone replacement, all that I can say is take care of your estrogen. Okay. You know, uh, like I said, I had actually low estrogen when I started uh, TRT. It raised, my life got better, and then it went too high. And then all of a sudden I had to, you know, figure out how to keep it, you know, how to keep it lower, you know, 
Um, and all that really affected is like my erectile function, okay? It didn't affect my mood, okay? Uh, it didn't affect my uh, libido, my desire to have intercourse. It just affected like my erectile function, okay? So like I said, that's the only one I had. Once I found out how to get my estrogen, my estradiol, my E2, whatever you wanna call it, levels in check, okay, which I do now by taking um, a quarter of a cc of test every other day, okay, which both spread out and lowered my dose per week, uh, taking 100 mgs of DIM morning and night, uh, 500 mgs of CDG morning and night, and uh, I take uh, 50 uh, mgs of zinc every morning. I don't know if that helps or not. But like I said, aside from that though, you know, that's the only side effect that I've ever had on, on testosterone. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's medically prescribed. I actually take less now that I've, you know, split up the dosage every other day. So it's, like I said, it's a pretty good thing. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I have nothing really that I can complain about. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. Like I said, I'm an open book. But, um, yeah, like I said, roid rage doesn't, doesn't really exist. Maybe if you have some kind of an issue. You know, maybe if you have some kind of an issue going into testosterone replacement, you're already an asshole, you're already violent. Yeah, you might have more of a problem with it, you know. But aside from that, though, like I said, most people jumping on TRT are too mousy. You know, they're too timid, they're too docile. So I really don't see that becoming an issue in terms of, like I said, the average person. I've never heard of somebody having roid rage at all. First of all, never ever heard of somebody having roid rage at all. But second, you know, in terms of like TRT, I've never ever ever heard of somebody saying, you know, I shot 150 or 170 mgs of TRT a week and suddenly I killed my whole family. That shit don't exist. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have and if you have any questions, uh, not just about TRT, but about uh, anything fitness or nutrition related, just go ahead and ask. Explosive Muscle Program, 75% off for the rest of the week. On the 20th, it's gonna double in price. And, and the 2nd of January, is gonna go up to $1,000 for a lifetime access. Go ahead, explosivemuscleprogram.com, click on the link below, check it out. Okay, I got a video that explains everything about it. Like I said, this is your chance to get in at 75% off, saving $750 lifetime access. This is the direction that uh, raw strength and muscle is definitely going to be going into for the future. My ultimate program, the ultimate diet. You've got to get on this if you're serious about getting in shape. Um, aside from that, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.